Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522 and welcome back to more Mega Man 8. So in the last video, we took down Clown Man, and so now we're gonna go after the next robot master, this guy. Now brace your ears, because this guy probably has the best theme in this entire game. Ready. Oh god, it's so good. Alright then. So let's do this. Now the gimmick for this stage is that there are explosive barrels. And that way, to where you, when you destroy one, they just kind of go in a line. Like so. They explode the one that's adjacent to it. Also, we got the Gabyols are back. This time they actually have warning paint on them. Ah, shit. Alright then. Okay, now we got a bit of a thing here. Okay, want to destroy that one. That one, this one, this one. Okay, I need to go this way. Alright, go ahead and make a ball jump right up here. There we go, that's another bolt. And let's take the up path. Gotta be careful with some of these bombs because they can reveal spikes. I mean, we all know what spikes do. Okay, there aren't spikes down there. Oh, and look what's back. Timed switch bombs. Alright then, so let's do this. I'm getting some kind of weird blur on my TV screen. I don't know if that's gonna be there in the recording. Ow. Oh shit. Looks like cock blockers still exist. Ah shit. Get out of here with that. Alright then. So it's time to fight the mid boss. It's funny how these are a thing now. Got on my bra. You're like junk man, but worse. Alright, get your junk out of my face. You know, I did not mean for that sentence to come out to sound like that. Shit. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention, there are no E-Tanks in this game. And there we go. No? That was weird. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about that in the last video. Oh yeah, and I forgot to equip my arrow shot. Oh boy. Okay then, so I'm gonna do both those things. So as you can see, the first rush item we got is, uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. There we go. Um, the first rush item we got is the Rush Bite. But yeah, that's pretty much what this is. I am I mean, I think you use this to get that bolt that we missed back in Clown Man stage. And if you notice, you can only use one per stage. At least one per, uh, every half segment or something. Okay, I gotta well, let this run out. Okay, there we go. And then right here, this question mark. Okay, why is it not doing anything? Oh, wait, no. I didn't even select it. There we go.
Yeah, what that does is it, it Rosh will call in and just it will come in and just do random stuff. But now, might as well talk about our charge shot. We have just got the arrow shot. We now fire a freaking golden arrow from our buster, which, upon making contact, explodes into like a shotgun blast. This charge shot just goes straight through Sniper Joe shields. So that's another reason why it's good. Alright then. Also we got uh, a fuse, which is kind of interesting. Now red bombs walk, as you can see. Freaking batons, am I right? Okay, and right here we're introduced to a fire meteor. As you can see, it lights the fuse. Right then, so that means we gotta be we gotta go. And that means I gotta get this bolt. Yeah, my face. Yeah, this arrow shot is incredible. I might get the laser shot just to kind of show that off too. But preferably I prefer the uh I prefer the arrow shot. Over the over regular and laser. Now the other charge shot, which I don't even see the point of, is the auto, which basically the while you're charging your buster, you'll just keep firing regular buster shots in like paces of three. Which doesn't seem that good compared to this. Because this charge shot is incredible. Alright, so let's switch to Thunderclaw. Alright, so it's time to fight Grenade Man. Now what you can do is that whenever he fires his Flash Bomb, you can hit, you can hit it with Thunderclaw to send it right back at him. Ah. Oh crap, I was facing the wrong way when I did that. But yeah, that's what happens when Flash Bomb hits a wall. And then when his life gets low, he'll destroy the, the floor. But yeah, not much to it. And yes, he said that felt good. You gotta love the quotes in this game. And now, for one of the most busted weapons in Mega Man history. What this thing does is it fires a bomb that will leave a very huge lingering hitbox that hits a lot. And it... Yeah. And enemies have no iframes, so they let any enemy just gets wrecked by that. Like, they don't even stand a chance. Alright then. I'm pretty confident in my videos. So I feel like we're- I feel like I'm still good. Alright, um, can I visit the shop again? You know, I am trying to save my- yeah, I'm trying to save my bolts for a specific part that will- that will unlock later. So that's why I'm not spending my bolts yet. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next stage. Till then, see you then.